good morning. Yes, uh, it is Tuesday and you're with Georgia Growth Point, growing as you're going. And uh, trust that uh, you, there is a growth experience in your life. Yes, each and every day we need to grow in the understanding of who we are in Christ Jesus. Now, today, never become afraid to approach your burning bush. <laughs> you know what? So many people are so afraid to come to God because of their sin and their past. Now, again, I want to say to you, just like Moses, when Moses came to God at that burning bush, you know what? God forgave him. Yes, his past was still there. But you know what? His past now did not play a role in the presence of God. This is important to know. Your past does not play a role in the presence of God, of that what God has for you. And the plan that God has for your future no longer is dictated by your past. Once you come to that place of repentance, once you repent again, I want to say this to you, that your past does not, uh, does not be, is not removed from 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 your mind uh, I, I, i'm trying to say that 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 your past will always be your past it's like a, a a a scar you know when you look at a scar it'll remind you of of how it uh, appeared how it came about but again your past uh, god doesn't bring your past up you know it brings your past up the devil does and that is what he wants to do to you. And that is what he constantly does. But again, you need to understand this, that when the enemy shows up and he reveals your past to you, you know what you need to do? You need to remind him of his future. Come on, there's a future waiting for him. But you see, again, Moses came to that burning bush. And the moment Moses approached that burning bush, listen to this. This is what God said to him in Exodus chapter 3, verse 5. Take off your sandals, for you are standing on holy ground. I want again for you to know that when you come to God, you come into the presence of His holiness. And again, if you have a past, that will hinder you of coming into the presence of God. But once your past is dealt with, now you are able to enter into the presence of God. Just like Moses, Moses now entered in to the presence of God because his past was dealt with because he came to that place of repentance. When you step into the presence of God, all that the devil has placed upon you will be burnt off your life. <laughs> that is why it's a burning bush. It removes the, the, the very things that the enemy tries to attach itself to our lives. Nothing that is of the devil can stand in the presence of God. You hear what I'm saying to you? When you come into the presence of God, Nothing that the enemy has ever placed upon you or what you have fallen into can stay in the presence of God. It is burnt off. This is what happens. This is why the fire is there. The fire consumes that which does not belong to God. When Jesus stepped into the stronghold of the devil's territory, notice what happened. A man who was filled with an army of soldiers. This is uh, of demons, uh, like an army of soldiers. The demons were there in him. Imagine that a legion of angels, uh, demons, fallen angels <laughs> that were in present in that man's life. But when he confessed, you know what happened? Every one of those demons had to flee. Listen to this in Mark chapter 5, verse 7. It says, Why are you interfering with me, Jesus, Son of the Most High God? This is what the response of was the demon. Now, when the man ran, he ran and he fell and he began to worship. But the, 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 the demons protested and said, What do you have come to do? You've come to torment us. It's not our time to be tormented. It's not our time for us to be cast into the lake of fire. This is actually what they were saying. Now, as you read into that story, you know that this man was set free the moment he came and he fell before the Lord Jesus. He was set free from every demonic spirit. <laughs> Listen, his salvation took him back to the top of the ladder. You see, what sin causes us to do is to fall. And to fall from that very presence that we have in the person Christ Jesus. It causes us to fall. But again, you know what happens when we come to a place of repentance? God lifts us back up. He, he again allows us to climb that ladder, not so. He, he repositions us again in himself. And again, he gives back to us that what the enemy has robbed 
from us. This is what you need to understand. God wants you to come with a heart of repentance to him. And so when you are prepared to engage with God, prepared to surrender your all to him, he makes the impossible possible. And again, I want you to know that your life, you might feel impossible. God will never be able to forgive my sin. God is able to do the impossible on your behalf.